Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, front controller design pattern. First we will see the explanation of uh, front controller design pattern. I will read out uh, this explanation one by one. Uh, the first explanation is uh, the front controller pattern provides a centralized request handling mechanism so that all requests will be handled by a single handler. And uh, second explanation is uh, the front controller is a centralized entry point for handling request. And uh, third and final explanation is uh, friend controller will do the authentication or authorization or logging or tracking of the request and then pass the request to the corresponding handlers. Uh, so these are the three explanation. Uh, I will uh, explain this friend controller using uh, this uh, below diagram so that uh, you will understand this explanation very easily. So here uh, you can see web application. So this web application has uh, three main components. First one is uh, friend controller and the second component is uh, dispatcher and the third component is handler. Handler is also called uh, application controller. So you can see handlers here. Okay. And uh, left side you can see a client. There are three clients are there. So the client send a request to the web application. So entry point of uh, this request is uh, each request is uh, friend controller. So you can see uh, there are three different kind of requests which comes to the friend controller. So what this friend controller will do is uh, it will do uh, common functionalities like authentication, authorization or uh, tracking the request or logging the request. So first we will see what is authentication. So authentication is nothing but uh, user will enter username password in the logging page. So once they submit uh, the username and password, uh, the friend controller will uh, verify whether the user, uh, whether uh, the entered user, username and password is proper or not and it is existing in the system. If it is okay, then user can log into the web application and uh, he can uh, use the functionality uh, which are uh, present in the web application. So that is authentication. Authorization means um, uh, based on the role of the user, uh, user can uh, access some functionality and user can't access some functionality like that. Suppose uh, say user is admin user. Okay, So user can enter all kind of functionality in the system. Suppose user is normal user, then he can do certain functionality and he can't do certain functionality. So that kind of uh, role based access uh, uh, related code we can write it in the front controller. And also in front controller uh, we can write method to track the request. Uh, like uh, from which user request is coming, which IP address, uh, that kind of uh, tracking we can uh, do in the front controller. So once uh, a front controller finishes uh, this common functionality, it uses dispatcher to delegate the request to the handlers. So based on the request type, uh, suppose say uh, the client one send a request uh, like get user info from the system. So the request comes to the front controller. Front controller does all the common functionalities like uh, authentication, authorization and logging. Once it finishes uh, this common functionality and uh, it finds uh, the user is valid user and uh, he can access all the all the functionality in the web application, then it passes uh, the request to the dispatcher or it uses the dispatcher to delegate the request to the corresponding handlers. So once this get user info request comes to the dispatcher, the dispatcher uh, will check the request type. So the request is uh, coming to get the user information. So what the dispatcher will do is from among these three handlers, uh, it will identify which handler can uh, process this get user info request. So uh, from this, this user handler can handle this get user info, right? So it will delegate the request to the user handler. Uh, user handler uh, uh, class okay, or uh, this application user handler application controller. So once uh, 
uh, user handler receive the get user info request it uh, it calls uh, user business logic uh, to get the user information from the database so once uh, a user business logic uh, receive the get user info request the user business logic will in turn call the do layer and do layer will uh, talk to database uh, get all the user information and the do layer will pass the user information to the user business logic and the user business logic will pass the user information to the user handler then what this user handler will do is uh, it will dispatches the request to the user view so user view is nothing but uh, some kind of uh, gsp uh, presentation layer so what this user view will do is uh, it will get the user information from the user handler and it will present it to the uh, client okay uh, so this way the whole thing will work suppose say uh, request 2 is uh, coming to get uh, account information from the system then it will come to the front controller the front controller does the authentication authorization and logging if everything goes fine uh, then it uses the dispatcher to delegate the request to the account handler because uh, request is coming for get the account information then this account handler will talk to the account business logic uh, and uh, uh, the account business logic will talk to the DO layer, DO layer will talk to the database and get the account information and the DO layer will pass it to the account business logic and account, account business logic will pass the account information to the account handler then account handler will dispatch the request to the account view the account view uh, will use the account information which uh, it gets from the account handler and display the account information in the um, in the browser uh, it will account view which show the account information in the uh, client okay in the browser view and uh, suppose uh, request 3 is uh, coming to get the salary info of the particular user the request first comes to the front controller it does the common functionality like authentication authorization and logging and it uses the then the front controller uses the dispatcher and the dispatcher will delegate the request to the salary handler and the salary handler will in turn talk to the salary business logic to get the salary information of the user and uh, sal uh, salary business logic will call the DO layer DO layer will call the database and uh, from the database it will get the salary information of the user and the DO layer will pass it to the salary business logic and then the salary business logic will pass the salary information of the user to the salary handler then salary handler dispatches the uh, dispatches to the salary view and salary view will uh, get the salary information from the uh, salary handler and uh, it display the salary information in the browser so this is the way uh, friend control design pattern works and uh, now if you read uh, this above explanation you can understand very easily so it is a friend control is nothing but it provide uh, centralized request handling so you have seen here so all the requests comes to the friend controller and uh, second explanation is it is a entry point so all the requests which comes to the friend controller it is a entry point for all the requests and uh, it does the common functionalities like authentication authorization uh, or logging or tracking of the request so once everything is fine then it passes to the handlers to passes to the handler it may use uh, dispatcher okay and uh, this is about uh, friend control design pattern and thanks for watching. Bye.